Hello, welcome back to Mingo Music. Today we're having a look at some new mod tone guitar effect pedals. Uh, these are very well made pedals, uh, metal casing, nice heavy duty switches so you can really stomp on them. Uh, none of the cheap plastic uh, footings that some of the uh, lower price pedals have. Very reasonably priced pedals. Uh, they're a great alternative if you're looking for used pedals and can't find them or if you're just looking for an effect that you don't use all that often and you don't want to spend too much on it. So let's have a look at some of these pedals. Starting with the Dynadrive, um, it's a simple overdrive. Um, it can be anything from uh, just a good boost for solos. So if I have a clean tone, I can add just a little bit of boost to that for a solo. doesn't really change the overall tone too much, just gives it a little bit of a volume boost with a little bit of drive to it. There's my tone off. Uh, good for some of the, the country chicken picking stuff as well. keeps the tone relatively clean, just has a little bit of an edge to it. Uh, now, a pedal like this is also a great classic rock tone. Uh, if we just dial up the drive uh, a little bit, we're going to really start to add a little bit more gain to the tone, so it's going to be a lot more noticeable. Uh, but great for some of the classic rock stuff. <laughs> something like so it really makes quite a difference when you start to add more drive to it and I've also got an overall level control so I can turn the whole pedal up or again if I still want to have it uh, sort of equal to my clean tone I can use the level control to uh, adjust the pedal against that so anything from a little bit of drive to quite a bit uh, really starts to get nice and gritty when you turn that drive control up without turning it into sort of a full saturated distortion pedal Let's move on to the vintage analog delay. Uh, I'll walk through the quick controls here. Uh, we've got a time control that adjusts how much time is in between repeats. Uh, right now there's very little time between repeats so I'm going to get a nice uh, vintage uh, slapback echo type sound. If I make the time between repeats more, uh, it starts to get a little spacier sounding. <laughs> Next control is repeat. That's how many uh, repetitions of that original repeat I'm actually going to hear. So in my slapback echo, if I turn that back and put my repeats up, I'm going to have quite a bit of tail on the end of that tone. There's 
Schuer repeats. <laughs> Now, if I put more time in between those repeats and put that control back up, uh, everything starts to get farther apart and more of it. My mix control basically just uh, gives me how much of that effect I have against my original signal. So there's the vintage analog delay. Next up is the aqua chorus, uh, very similar to some of the early uh, what you'd now call vintage chorus pedals. Uh, nice and rich sounding, uh, easy to get a good chorus effect from it. Keeps your tone nice and clean, but certainly adds some, some warmth and some body to it. Uh, that's also a very nice effect if you uh, have an acoustic electric guitar. Uh, just gives your tone a little bit of character, a little bit of color, uh, without taking away from your good acoustic guitar tone. Uh, last in the line that we're looking at is the Harmonic Tremor Tremolo. Uh, a tremolo pedal which is basically a, a fluctuation in your volume. Uh, looking at the controls, the rate control uh, is the rate of the volume changing. The wave uh, adjusts how deep the changes are and the depth is sort of like a volume control for this. It's how much you notice it against the original signal. Uh, so let's have a look at the tremor pedal. You're also going to notice this kind of cool sexy blue light up here that uh, pulsates depending on how fast the tremolo is set. Now that's set with the, the rate control about uh, midway, 12 o'clock. If we slow that down a little, you can see the blue light starts to slow down as well, just so we know how fast things are going. There's speeding up the rate just a little bit. Now, what happens if we combine some of these? Well, let's take the Dyna drive. We'll leave the tremor pedal on, and we're going to have just a little bit of drive here. And we'll add this, and we'll get some real nice, uh, swampy, really classic rock kind of CCR type stuff. some really interesting combinations once you start to combine the pedals a little bit. Uh, that's a quick look at uh, some new mod tone pedals that we've got at Mingo Music. Uh, reasonably priced, well made, uh, great sounding, useful pedals. Come on in and have a look at them. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks.